Hey guys, Justin with Ready Business Systems. Today I'm going to be going over Service Autopilot's wall clock mode. So wall clock mode looks exactly like this. Uh, you can punch in and out just like you would on a conventional system to punch in and out of your timesheets. Uh, this may be good for employees who don't have access to Service Autopilot, but you want them to be able to log their own time and punch in and out. Uh, so they don't need access to the mobile website and they don't need access to the typical uh, administrative site where they can punch in and out here. So this is just for any employee that may be a temp employee that shows up and you want to punch in. Uh, you just give them a pin and they can punch themselves in and out. It'll record their time in the accounting timesheets here. So you need, in order to enable this, uh, where you're going to find it is under this little icon here, wall clock mode, but you won't see this unless it's enabled. So we're going to go to settings and it logged me out here. So we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to user roles and rights. Okay. And if we want, say, all the managers to be able to uh, use the wall clock, you're going to click on them, or whatever role this is, uh, accounting. And right here, view wall clock, this needs to be checked off to enable that. The second thing you need to do is go into the actual employee screen themselves. Go to uh, uh, team employees. And whichever employees you want to be able to use this wall clock mode, now that you've enabled it for that role, they need to have that role set up. So click the employee name, edit. You also, this is where the screen where you're going to set up their pin as well. Uh, so User settings, as you can see, the user role is manager. This needs to line up with the role that you set under user roles and rights that you enabled the wall clock. So you're going to set it to manager. And under payroll job costing, this is where you set the pin. Uh, typically, this pin is going to start out as 0000. It will give you an error if you try to type that in here. It's going to do exactly this. And you're going to wonder why it's not working. Uh, the pin default is four zeros, but it won't let you log in with four zeros. You need to set the pin first. So once you set this pin, you can then log in. It's going to bring up a, a punch in and out screen and you can, you can clock in and clock out. And so they clock in for the day, for example, uh, they're done working and then they can clock out. So that's how that works. Uh, pretty simple, easy, but you need to know how to enable it. That's what the purpose of this video is. Uh, check out the, the website, readybusinesssystems.com. If you don't currently have Service Autopilot, uh, we can get you set up and waive your setup fee. So, so definitely reach out to us there. Uh, catch you next time.